Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about Staphylococcus aureus. This belongs to the genera Staphylococcus. And if you want to know more about this genera, you can go to my previous video where I have talked about Staphylococcus as a genera and its classification. Here today we will be talking about one of the species of that genera that is Staphylococcus aureus. So Staphylococcus aureus is a uh, commonly found organism. It can be found in the environment such as soil, air and water. And it is found as a common cell in the nostrils, nares of human being, nose and skin of human. It causes variety of clinical diseases. What is the disease which it is not causing? So it is the one which is a pathogenic organism causing lot many number of diseases to human beings as it is having a lot of virulence factors in it. And it can infect at the community level or at, it, it can be acquired by hospital acquired infections, that is nosocomial infections. Nosocomial means hospital acquired infections. And it is a organism that is exhibiting lot of resistance and it's already resistant against penicillin, methicillin it is a, a um, it can be called a superbug nowadays so all this resistance part we will be talking in detail today what i will be talking will be about microscopic morphology and culture characteristics rest of the things like biochemical tests resistance virulence factors and pathogenicity that we will talk in different lectures so as uh, I'm continuing, um, I'm continuing with the uh, small fractions of Staphylococcus aureus. Uh, it's uh, focusing on small topics or subheadings because I want uh, students to be very clear about them and they can revise Staphylococcus in um, headings, certain headings. So for revision also, small videos are good. Uh, I'm starting with microscopic morphology of Staphylococcus aureus. When we see it under a light microscope, we will see it is a gram positive organism. Gram staining is done, and we can see it's a gram positive organism. So it will look violet or bluish in color. Since it's a cocci, so it will be spherical in shape and it will appear in clusters, grape like crystals. Uh, Staphylococcus is grape like cluster. And the diameter of uh, this uh, species, Staphylococcus aureus species, ranges from 0.5 to 1 micrometer. And as you can see, uh, this is the diagram I have put. Here you can see Staphylococcus, single Staphylococcus is also seen, while uh, two um, Staphylococcus together. And you can see clusters. Most of uh, it is found in clusters because Staphylococcus is can divide in three planes and when it divides in three planes their daughter cell remain attached to mother cell so you will find great them mostly in clusters grape like clusters but you can see one or two together also and here you can see a tetrad also so it's a good gram stain um, slide where you can see um, the staphylococcus how it appears in under the light microscope when we see it under the scanning microscope, that is SEM, what we will see, we will see this big, this is the size and spherical shape and smooth walls are revealed. Smooth surface, it has a smooth surface. This is revealed when we are seeing it under the um, scanning electron microscope. Then coming to transmission electron microscope, when we see it under a transmission electron microscope, we can see it has a thick cell wall. Here you can see a thick cell wall. This, it has a thick cell wall and a cytoplasmic membrane and amorphous cytoplasm can be seen inside it. So these are the uh, Staphylococcus aureus and uh, studied under three different kinds of microscopes and these three different morphology of Staphylococcus should be clear to you. Coming to the culture characteristics of Staphylococcus, it, uh, it can be grown on nutrient agar media since it is not organism which creates fuss. So it is non-fastidious organism. That means uh, it is not fussy. 
like um, like we have kids who are fussy who want special things that they, they will eat only special things pizza burgers and all and not the home food sim uh, homemade simple food See, um, so staphylococcus is not a fussy kid it can grow on a very simple media and nutrient agar media is one of the simple media basic media uh, so staphylococcus grows on this nutrient agar media um, uh, when it is incubated at 24 hours uh, for 37 degrees centigrade here you can see the colonies of staphylococcus this is a staphylococcus aureus is streaked on a nutrient agar plate and you can see what first impression it gives is yellow pigment so yes aureus itself means gold so you can see golden yellow colonies on nutrient agar plate and um, the colonies are two to four millimeter in size as spherical um diameter they are circular smooth and they are easily opaque and easily emulsifable emulsifable is like they can they, they will be mixed mixed and uh, together they adhere together so easily emulsifable um, i have told you that it usually produce golden yellow but sometime white pigment can also be it's uh, white colonies can be observed and this yellow pigment production is enhanced when one person glycerol monoacetate or milk is incorporated in the medium. So if you want to see the special characteristic of Staphylococcus aureus, is it produces golden yellow. Typical Staphylococcus aureus species produces golden yellow colonies. And aureus, as we have um, know, that symbol of gold is AU. That is, it has come from the word aureus. So aureus stand for, uh, stands for golden yellow colony. And that is why Staphylococcus aureus got its name. So uh, if you want to enhance the golden yellow color in the Staphylococcus aureus, we put glycerol monoacetate or milk in nutrient agar media. So nutrient agar media is one of the simple media. Now blood agar media is enriched media. It's not a simple media. It's enriched media. In this also Staphylococcus can grow. And when Staphylococcus incubation, best incubation period uh, for Staphylococcus on blood agar media is 16 to 18 hours at 37 degrees centigrade and what we will see if it's a staphylococcus aureus species it will show beta hemolysis we all know that hemolysis is of three types that is alpha beta and gamma so in beta hemolysis you find discoloration so here you can see the discoloration and this discoloration is the characteristic feature of staphylococcus aureus and discoloration is beta hemolysis is total hemolysis while alpha hemolysis is partial hemolysis and gamma hemolysis is no hemolysis so staphylococcus aureus species show hemolysis and when it is grown on mekongki agar media, again, mekongki agar media is a special media and it's also a differential media, enriched and differential media, which can differentiate. Why we call it differential media? Because it can differentiate between lactose fermenting and non-lactose fermenting colonies because this media contains lactose and organisms, those can ferment lactose, will produce pink colonies on it. While which cannot ferment lactose, will produce white colonies. So here, Staphylococcus aureus, when incubated for 16 to 18 hours at 35 to 37 degrees centigrade, and in presence of approximately 5% carbon dioxide, will produce pink colonies that shows that Staphylococcus is lactose fermenting organism. On selective, certain selective media, Staphylococcus aureus can be um, grown. Selective media is the one which have inhibitors in it and it only promotes the growth of organism in which we are interested. So this selective media here will be Rudlam's media, which will promote the growth of Staphylococcus aureus. Rudlam's media is the media which contains lithium chloride and telluride. So lithium chloride and telluride are the substances which will inhibit the growth of other bacteria. And a polymyxine is also added, which will promote the growth of Staphylococcus aureus. There is one more media that is Bayard Parker agar media that also will have lithium chloride and telluride, telluride as in growth inhibitors of other 
micro uh, bacteria and it will uh, it will have pyruvate and glycine which will specifically promote the growth of s aureus so if you want staphylococcus aureus alone you can grow it bad parker agar or ludlum's media and you can also grow in nutrient broth by adding 10 ppm of nelidesic acid and 10 ppm of that is ppm is parts per million of uh, acriflavin in nutrient broth. So this will also act as a selective media. So today I decided to talk about only of selective media, uh, only of culture media and microscopic morphology. In like next lectures, we will be talking about biochemical reactions and other resistance, pathogenicity, etc. of Staphylococcus aureus. aureus. So please keep uh, with me and tell me whether I'm able to explain these things properly or not. Thank you.